Yeah, Brandy and Philip, you can see the entrance to the East Los Angeles Sheriff Station here behind us. The shooting happened just a driveway away in the underground parking lot of this apartment building. People who live here think the man that was shot and killed was possibly trying to break into cars. A deputy's bullet riddled patrol car is towed from the underground parking lot of an East LA apartment building. The side windows shattered. Another bullet hole through the front windshield. Air 7 HD was overhead shortly after the shooting late last night, which happened just steps away from the East LA Sheriff's Station. Deputies had responded after people living here reported seeing a suspicious man snooping around parked cars. This woman didn't want to be identified. The neighbors here are already like we know each other. When we see someone we don't know and then approaching cars in an oddly manner, of course, they're going to call the police. From there, deputies explained the situation that escalated quickly. The man first trying to hide, then ran past deputies to their car, which was still running. They say deploying a taser didn't work and the man got in the driver's seat. He put the car in drive and drove toward one of the deputies. Fearing for his safety, the deputy did discharge his firearm. He was hit in the upper body and died here at the scene. May his soul rest in peace, but it, it was kind of dumb for him to be in this area doing what he was doing because the cops are like literally right next door to us. The underground parking does have surveillance cameras. Residents hope it helps clear up any questions about whether force was justified. Only the cameras can tell, I guess. The man killed only identified as being in his 30s. The deputies involved were not injured. All of this, of course, remains under investigation.